From digital payment systems to apps that order directly from suppliers, to online portals for customers featuring rich experiences, there are now endless tech solutions that help drive businesses forward. And so the question on everyone's lips is quickly becoming, what do these advancements mean for us? Twinbrew has found itself asking this exact question with regards to the metaverse. Questioning the importance and implications of the metaverse is important for interior designers, architects and furniture manufacturers. These industries are all about what is tangible and creatively provide the environments that shape and anchor people's lives. Digital Twins allows us to operate with thousands and tens of thousands of materials, work with customization, present on existing objects in the real world but know how they would look and rely on the digital twins to be sure that if you create something in the virtual world, it can be easily created and received in the real world. One of the main reasons there's been so much buzz around the metaverse is because of the rapid adoption of the digital economy in recent years. It also means we need to be thinking outside the box and finding new ways to build client relationships, where the expectation is for faster communication with deeper, more meaningful interactions. Rem Koolhaas, Pritzker Prize-winning architect, once said, Architecture stands with one leg in a world that's 3,000 years old and another leg in the 21st century. As was wonderfully illustrated in the film Inception, even non-physical worlds require experts in design in order to construct something that feels real, immersive, and that has undeniable presence. Humanity will try to recreate the real world or digitize the real world in the 3D copy of it on that metaverse, but include more, more features, which is not possible to, to have in the real world or extremely hard or expensive or resource expensive just to, to create in the real one. So it will be the place where we will be able to experiment, to simulate something, to create in advance before spending real resources. As we build and expand the metaverse through the use of digital twins, we can create an endless platform of creativity from which countless real-world designs can be born. We'll enable both creators and consumers to truly unleash their imaginations in ways we've never thought possible. As we move into the future of the digital twin concept, it's, it's more about incorporating physical properties. What's the light absorbency of the material? What's the sound absorption? How does it reflect in real environments? How does the colors within the material affect its surroundings? And the reason this becomes important is because it allows us to fully simulate a material in a 3D space. So it allows us to go beyond just representing materials in a digital space um, and move more towards actually simulating materials in a digital space. From an interior's point of view, from a clothing point of view, they also have, all, all have sort of different use cases of, of how they might use that information. But, but as we move down that path, it opens up a lot of possibilities. You're bridging graphic artists with 3D artists, with texture artists and material experts, and you're providing a, a common ground through a, a standardized uh, file format that, it, that captures all these different aspects and allows these people to work together in real time. In the metaverse, it's going to be all about the content. Where digital twin technology will play a fundamental role is for these industries to showcase or even test drive their ideas without limitation and for consumers to experience them in all their glory. Just imagine a house built with all the proposed interior design and bespoke furniture. The future owners are able to experience it through different seasons, day or night, while being able to physically walk through the space. It completely transforms where, when and how these sectors interact with each other and their clientele. If a designer were creating a, a building and they wanted to furnish it with, let's say, fire retardant fabrics for the curtains, for the furniture, if we've got the additional fire if, uh, information within the file, they can simulate the way those fabrics will react in a file. 
Yeah, which is important when you're planning a building, planning, you know, the safety of that building. You could also use the, the light information to accurately calculate the effectiveness of the materials and the absorption rate of the materials. So if you're wanting to plan direction of windows or the types of windows you're using in conjunction with curtains and, and whatnot for, for heating purposes um, or cooling purposes for that matter, you can have a create a more accurate an accurate model or for sound absorption would be another key one for, for textiles. So I think having that extra ability just gives a little bit more power to the designers and the architects to create something that's more accurate and, and more in line with reality. The race is on to bring this virtual world to life. Like fabric, there are many threads of innovation that have to be woven together for it to become reality. The internet we know today is a prime example of how collective contribution by pioneers can help something evolve in a relatively short time frame. For the last 5,000 years, there was not so big changes there. You have yarns, you put them together and you receive the textiles. But if you're talking about uh, modern days, current situation and innovations in general, of course, the metaverse, the new digital channels of communications also push old-fashioned industries, if you want, to transform themselves and step into the new channels of communication to be able to reach their users. The example with iPhone is pretty simple. I believe everyone of you remembers that day when he came, just showed us a small device and, okay, Techno Geek said, come on, there is no even calculator inside. There was no app store inside. There was nothing inside. It was just a big idea. We foresee the future digital fabric twins functioning in two fundamental ways. First, when virtual worlds are more established with communities exploring and creating unique spaces, digital fabric twins will be utilized for multiple environments. The architects and 3D designers building the new environments will be able to use the digital fabric twins to create beautiful homes, offices, hospitality spaces, and even interiors for yachts or mobile homes. And two, as the metaverse evolves, users will be able to see something they like and then order it immediately with just a click on the item. Better still, the metaverse could potentially recommend products or even show different color options as the user shows interest in them. It would be a highly personalized purchasing experience backed by an automated supply chain, much like what Twinbrew already provides with its digital fabric library. We will see how our conversations will look in five or ten years. We will sit in some virtual space and see each other, you know, like on Star Wars, probably, <laughs> with holograms. What Digital Fabric Twins offer the textile industry and its associated fields is a new way of interacting and applying products in design. The benefits include reduced waste by decreasing the reliance on fabric sample books, greater global accessibility, as well as improved efficiency in communication, design and implementation. It also provides a competitive advantage so businesses can create immersive, visual and interactive experiences with great attention to detail. For inspiration and to get a taste of what interior design in the metaverse could be, head over to our renders page or follow our Pinterest boards. If you'd like to go on this journey with us, head over to our partnerships page to see where Twinbrew's digital fabric twins are distributed.